Hello everybody, welcome back to Polycore Media and I am Exodus Killer and today Uh We We, I mean I played the Witcher Free World Hunt for this month's Never Have I Ever Played. Um in the story from what I've gathered, uh you're a Witcher, which a Witcher is like a person that has been I guess modified. There's like cat eyes and like weird abilities and can use magic. And from what I understand is they live uh, drastically longer than the average living being. Uh, and yeah. Your guy is a guy called Ger Geralt. 100% Geralt. <laughs> and um, in the story as Geralt... You're on the. Uh, you're looking for. You, I won't say your wife. It wasn't your wife. It's not like your lover. Your love interest, uh, Yennefer. But you, you're trying to find her, and that's as far as I got with the footage found in the video. The footage you've seen in the video is like that's the furthest you I got when doing this was Yennefer, but like later on you change from trying to find Yennefer to trying to find a girl called Siri. Um, so yeah. I got pro I, I played the game because my friend I a friend um, Aiden he kept playing it and he kept talking about it and was like it's a great game it's sick you should play it and I was like alright I guess I'll um, I guess I'll give it a go in the last game you recommended to me, No Man's Sky, was pretty good. And then, um, and this game turned out to also be really well. I, um, I did enjoy it. So, from the time frame within the video, um, I, cause I, said, I did I did continue playing the game later on, I will confirm this idea, like, the game, honestly, it's a great game. But from the time frame within the video, my favourite thing about it was the... Uh, let me think for a moment, I've not got a big brain, I've got a small brain. Um, from within the video, it was the... Oh, fuck me, what was it now? What was it? Uh, did I kill the Wraith on the video footage? Did I, not, I don't know. If I, I don't know. Was it? Did I kill the bar people? Anyway, the first bit of good action is what I um I like the most. But within the actual, from where I'm up to now so far, because obviously I have played the game afterwards. Or oh, I'll oh, oh. um definitely I fought a bear and killed it. I enjoyed. I also enjoyed fighting the Griffin as well. Griffin was a nice kill as well. The there is the only thing I have an issue with so far the game is one or two controls and how slow the start is. The the, the start of the game um is very slow. From my understanding, like, it's the open. It's a very um, very erotic open cinematic, which I've not shown, but it's very erotic and uh, it does tickle the pickle in all the right ways. But uh, yeah, um, the game at first is very slow. It's also it, it is a tutorial, so it's meant to be slow and everything. But even then, like, after the tutorial, like, getting to the first village and everything like that, because you're, you're still learning at the same time, it is. Very very slow, but once you you get past that slow pace and you start getting into like the open world and doing everything you want to do, it gets much easier and it's much faster paced. I like it. And with controls, if it's, it's not really much all the controls. It's just this one little thing that not really um, scratching the itch the right way, and that is how B is the jump, not A. That is the only that is <laughs> the only thing that is. Not really scratching the itch in the right way for me. All right, take off the blindfold. Because of that, I did find it a bit tricky sometimes because I'd be like, 
instinctively press it A to jump to do things. Um, but then I just couldn't do them. I just couldn't do them. I'd be fucking just falling down holes and shit, and I was like, why? Why? <laughs> Let me jump. I mean, I'm pretty sure in the tutorial, I didn't jump over a fucking bridge. I just fucking walked off it. <laughs> because I pressed A instead of fucking B. Um, so, yeah. So that can be a bit tricky. Also, there's a lot of things. Like the combat, you got blocking, you got parrying. You have to have a stamina bar, you don't have an energy bar for your magic. Because you can it recharge over time, but you know, recharge is like very quickly. But like, you've got all these different like science which is like different spells code basically and uh, yeah the leveling uh, which is interesting and then you've got two different swords silver swords for killing monsters steel swords for anything that is basically normal like a dog or a, like a regular wolf or a bear and then a humans and I said the silver sword is like for monsters like wraiths uh, drowns uh, 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 ghouls <laughs> so yeah The storyline so far, ah, uh, like in the video time frame, it very slow. Don't we really know much? But I say because I am, I, I have read this like several times now. But as I, I am further on, and um, it does become more interesting. I am starting to learn more about the world and more about the characters. It's a shame because I want to really go back to Witcher One and Two just so I can play them to learn the actual full story, but. Graphics-wise, they're not obviously not going to be anywhere near as good as that, which are free or anything like that. So I don't think I'd be able to go back and play them. I think I'd just have to try and like do some reading up about the lore and the history of the characters. Um, but yeah, it's so far, it, like I am hooked. I am hooked on the game, and I want to complete it. If I wasn't hooked, I wanted to complete it. Then I'd say it's a shit story, but it's got me hooked. So obviously, it's a good story. Similar, there are s games similar to this. Games similar to The Witch, The Witcher, yeah. Um, I don't know because the games, oh, the game is open world with abilities, and it does have magic as well. So I guess people have been trying to tell me to play Skyrim, but I'm not really. I don't, Skyrim doesn't interest me, so I guess it ultimately depends. Um, like I say, it's an open world, a horseback ride, and your sword. Uh, and I guess some games I have played in the past have been like it. Like if you compare like The Witcher for each, like um, what can I say it compares to? Uh, but maybe like an, an old Assassin's Creed. I guess they're somewhat similar. I don't know. I guess. It depends how similar the game is. Depends if I'll play it again or, or if I play that game or not. Depends how similar and the genre and all that kind of malarkey. So you did the reading. The game I would one hundred percent recommend. Well, it is honestly, it's a good game. Like I said, I'm hooked. I've already played the story further on. So, you know, if I think that I would recommend it, I would recommend it, because the well, game, honestly, the combat system as well is interesting, Quick. and uh, the story is interesting as well, and the worlds Why so far, detailed, like, every single Go location is different, it's not just the same, like, it's not like, nothing's copied and pasted, Again? it's all different. So far, from what you understand, the game is... What do you think? Uh, solo, it's just it's a, it's a, it's a very story driven game, but there is like free DLCs, which I'm on, which does add value. Cause I mean, this game is definitely replayable. Should work on the but I think if you add them DLCs and free ones and smack them into the game as well, then that just adds even more of it. Because like I say, there's certain things that them DLCs add which you can't do in the regular game. So I think I'm gonna complete the game how it is now, add them to DLCs, and then replay it again. That's what I'm gonna, that's what. At least that's what I'm going to end up doing in the future. Overall, I did love this game, and did I say love or like then? I think I said like, but Reggie didn't have love, or, or like the other way around. I don't know. Either way, it's one of them, so. And 
yeah, I generally do like playing the game. And I would probably give it a rating. I'm not sure. Uh, don't mind do ratings. I'm pretty sure we don't normally do ratings. So I'm going to give it a rating. Out of 100. If I want to say out of 10, but I feel like 10 is like too like, fucking simple. Out of 100, you get more of a better reading. I think out of 100, I'd give The Witcher 3 from what I have gotten to so far. About a, a solid 89 out of 100. A solid 89 out of 100. Which, you know, I say solid because I mean, yeah, it could go up, it could go down. I don't know. It depends what happens in the future. So I'm saying a solid 89 because that's what I'm comfortable with giving it. But yeah, anyway. Everybody, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in a bit. Take care. Peace. Like, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to the Twitch. That's even how it works. Do you subscribe to Twitch or do you follow? Either way, it's one of them. Basically the same fucking thing. Do that. And yeah. Stay safe. Don't catch coronavirus.